Uh, uh, do you speak Chinese? Yeah. You can speak some? Uh, only Ocha. Yeah. 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 This guy here. Yeah. 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 I think you are not speaking it, man. Ah, yes, Sebo. Yes, Sebo. He has a sharp mind. That's good. That's good. I'm Jonathan. Hello, here. Yeah. Here. Yeah. So, am I supposed to speak to these nice people? Please. The audience is yours. I'm 39 years old and I am an ophthalmologist. I'm an eye doctor from Moorfields Eye Hospital in London, England. We are in town because uh, our boss, Primrose, has told us to come here. And uh, just a bit about me, I was born in Hong Kong. I went to boarding school in England. I went to Oxford uh, for my first degree. I went to Cambridge for my second degree. Uh, I have worked, uh, uh, then I worked at Hong Kong, at the University of Hong Kong and then I worked for the American government, the National Institute of Health, and I was part of the official American government response to Ebola two years ago. Um, and I'm still not from all of Anyway, um, so I'm guessing, how old are all of you? How old are you, young man? <laughs> how old are you, young man? Who, what? 25 to 30. 30. Who is the youngest person in this room? I think it's me. How old? Oh, oh very good. Oh, oh, oh. I'm joking. Oh. Must, I'm very How old is the youngest person in the room? I'm 19. Okay, very good. We, what's your name? Gerardo Bates. Excuse me? Robert, I'm here. Robert, Robert. Okay, fine. Um, so for the rest of this evening, I will lecture you. I will lecture specifically to you because you are the youngest person in the room and therefore, uh, by definition, you hold the most promise in the room because you do, you're the youngest person. So, I could, we can have a long conversation about many things. We can have a conversation about what is meaning of life. We can have a conversation about what is it being successful. Blah, 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 blah. But I think what it really, the most uh, off the top of the seat of my pants thing I could probably say is what, how can I be the best that I can be? Does that make sense? You know, uh, a common, um, so obviously I'm 39, so I'm 20 years old than you, but you know, a lot of young people normally when they're in your you know, uh, situation, they always have the same questions. Who am I? What do I want to do in life? What should I be? You know, all this kind of thing. And, and, and young people are always having this big angst about, you know, oh, what do I do in my life? Panic, you know. And then, then they worry about work, education, jobs, boys, girls, whatever. I think the principle that I would stay instead is that the general principle in life, I would argue, is that you should be the best that you can. Okay, so let's rewind the clock back 10 years. Imagine you are nine years old, okay? Imagine everyone in this room is nine years old. Now, imagine somewhere in here is the future Usain Bolt. Imagine somewhere in here is the next Alfred Einstein. Imagine somewhere in here is, I don't know, the next Barack Obama, whatever, okay? You all possess in you something which you do that you can do infinitely better than other people, than the next man, one of you, will be funnier than the other person. One of you will be more creative. A hell of a lot of you will sing better than I can. A lot of you will dance better than I can. But then, hey, I'm not a singer, I'm not a dancer, that's fine. I think the trick in, and, and the, the, the trick in life is very early, is you should identify as best you can what it is that you do that you do better than the next man. That's step one. Step two, what will then happen is that because you are better than the next man, running, swimming, telling jokes, whatever it is, you will find that because you're quite good at it, people will actually say, hey, you're really funny, you're really, I don't know, smart, whatever it is, you're, you're really tall, or whatever. And then you will then, people will say, hey, you're really, really good, and then you'll get to a virtuous cycle. Now, as a general rule, imagine one of you is the future you say Bolt, okay? But let's imagine that you live in Tibet, or the Himalayas, or Nepal, someplace where it's really, really cold and it's snowy all the time. That Usain Bolt, hypothetically, would never go out and run because it's too cold, okay? So he would never, it would be very tragic because he would never know that he's the world's fastest man because it's too cold to run. Does that make sense? So therefore, from this perspective, you can always see that there are several principles that you do. One, that person in the future, Usain Bolt, you should try 
and experience as many things as you can. Does that make sense? One of you may theoretically be the next Olympic gold medalist in swimming, for example. But if you never get in a swimming pool, you'll never know that you're a good swimmer. Does that make sense? One of you may be, God help us, I don't know, the next super duper rapper. But if you never try and play rap, you'll never know. One of you may be the world's next best saxophone player. But if you never put on a saxophone, you'll never know. For me, personally, I found that over the years, what I'm better at than normal, other body, some people, is that I tend to, um, I, I tend to have a slightly better memory than other people. And I also found over the years that I tend to have a slightly, um, I tend to be more honest than most people. And for some strange reason, people find I'm a bit more trustworthy and a bit more honest than other people. Strangely, these traits tend to be fairly useful in medicine because strangely, patients like to see a doctor who's got, you know, who's fairly trustworthy, fairly reasonable, fairly gentle, and a good bedside manner. And for whatever unknown reason, I tend to have these things slightly better than the other people. So I'm in the right field for me. So in summary, what I'm trying to say is what? What of you, all of you, something better than the next man. Two, you should all try and test or um, experience as many things as you can to try and identify that. Try running, singing, dancing, you know, tap dancing, whatever it is. Three, you should then nurture that as best you can, right? Um, you know, now similarly, how many of you have children in this room? Stick up your hand if you have children. How many of you, how many of your parents? How many of you are going to be parents eventually? Okay, it's just me. Ah, good. More people who are going to be parents one day. Those of you who are going to be parents eventually, these principles apply to you. When you become a parent, obviously you want what's best for your child. Does that make sense? And, you know, the same principles apply. Your child, you want to be the best there is at whatever. So you should, in principle, try and expose them to as many things as possible. Swimming, running, jumping, singing, dancing, whatever. Medical school, if you're that bored. Um, and hopefully they will discover what it is that they need. So, what I'm trying to say is that, you know, the ways that you just feel like yourself in life, you can do it from a negative way, or if you don't work hard, you'll be poor, or if you don't work hard, your life will be a failure. But what I'm, what I, my technical message is that I want you to achieve your potential. Does that make sense? Because when you are, it would be tragic if you were the use, if, if you say, Bolt, God help us, never learn to run for whatever reason. And, or Alfred Einstein never learned to read. And at a hundred, the years of a hundred years, he think, oh. Or even worse, imagine if Alfred Einstein was lazy, okay? He was absolutely lazy. And what he wanted to do in life, all he did is went out every night and went drinking. And just got completely shot and cold drop and never did any work. And at a hundred years, Alfred Einstein looked back, what have I achieved? Well, not much, apart from get drinking, get drunk. Do you see what I'm saying? So why I take the message is you should, one, work hard. Two, be the best that you can be and three, fulfill your potential. Because it would be tragic for you and the society if you don't fulfill your potential. And also it's fun. So um, in summary, be the best you can be, find what you're good at, achieve your potential, you'll be fine. Thank you. Doctor, you deserve to be doctor two no, times. No, please, take, take it. I'll hand over to uh, people who are better than me now. <laughs> Let's go for you. Wow, I have learned something. Thank you, thank you. I have learned to make 